The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the terrific Tuesday, the February 6th edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't call in, we've got your back. You can always send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Please send that off early. And, of course, inside that subject heading, if you'd be good enough to put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a mixed bag out there. The mix is looking like this. You got the Dow up 74 points. The S&P is flat. It's up two. NASDAQ 1 are down 52. Russell's up 10. Semi's down 49. Trend is up 326. That is a mixed bag. You've got gold up about 10 bucks. Silver's up 11 pennies. You got the U.S. dollar index, which is trading just slightly lower, down 12 ticks. If we take a look at Lights Recruit, it's up 35 pennies natural gas is off five cents 30-year treasury printed out 120 21 that's up 17 ticks out there leading the charge dollar wise the upside you've got toyota motor up 18 bucks that's nine percent spotify 15 bucks seven percent micro strategy 16 bucks three percent lind plc nearly four percent move 15 bucks and willis tower watson up 13 bucks that is a five percent move our shakers to the downside mercado libre off five percent 87 bucks fabrinet off 23 percent 52 bucks madrigal pharmaceuticals 40 Two bucks, eighteen percent. Alpha Metallurgical Resources, nine percent, uh, thirty-three bucks. And Decker's Outdoor, a twenty-five point move to the downside. That's off three percent. We got some movers and we've got some shakers. But let's do this. Let's start off with take a look at the week indices out here. Let's go ahead and we'll change screens uh, momentarily. We'll go to, over to our white background screens. And then we'll switch it over and take a look and see if we can figure out what's going on inside the NQ. Eventually, we'll get back to CCJ. But the first request, not really a request, but just Steve, you wants to go take a look at what's the week indice doing here. And that would be, well, it's the semis. We'll take a look at the semis as well and the NDX 100. If we take a look at the NDX 100, we can see there are two intraday bottom patterns. Those are coming from the 10-minute and the 15 minute. Those are your lower right hand screens out there. Uh, we've got uh, both our roads minimum indicator patterns. We can see the 10 minute is dealing with potential resistance at 17.652. If price can close above that, we should see a move up towards 17.667. If price can close above 17.667, we're looking at 17.683. And a close above 17.683, that'll take us up towards the 17.767 level. That's the progression. If you're a quarterback, that's the progression as you're taking things off. You're taking a look at, we know where the defense is at. It starts with the red oscillator and change line at this stage here. If we take a look at getting past the 10-minute chart, where's the next level of defense? That's on the 15-minute red oscillator and change line. And above that, we have the top of those profiles. And then above that, 
we've got the TD nine count breakdown area. Likewise, if we close below this morning's low out here, that low that I'm referring to is when they came in at around 1030 in that 1030 time frame, and that's down at 17,598.25. If we get a close below that, we're likely headed to 17,572, and it would be a close below 17,572. Now I'm looking at the daily time frame that would signal move all the way back to 17,351. Those are our progressions for the week. Uh, equity future contract right now. Let's go do the same thing and take a look at the semiconductor index. So here we'll take a look at the multiple time frames out there. I believe that this set of charts should pull us up. There we go. Perfect. So in the daily time frame, let's start there. Upper left hand, top, upper left hand, you've got a rose mint indicator top, bearish engulfing candle at its all time high. Take a look at the 195 minute chart. Somebody might say 195. What are you, what are you drinking this morning, Stevie, in your tea? Uh, nothing. 195 minutes. You can take uh, two of those, and that makes up a full day of trading. We like to have our bars, not the ones we go to for an adult beverage, but we like to have the bars that we take a look at on our screens. We like them to be equal, equal in time. That way our technical analysis is a little bit more accurate. So here, if we take a look at 195 minute chart out there, we can see that price found resistance bounce right up yesterday into its TD9 count breakdown level at 4405. That's where it should have found resistance on a rally. If we take a look at the 130 minute time frame chart, right now price is below its green oscillator and change line. If it closes the 130 minute, there's 330 minute bars, by the way. This one here is gonna close at 1140. If price does close below 40, 361. That suggests or indicates that price has lost its momentum and we're likely to see lower lows. What I don't see out here, well, I take that back. So we had a 10 minute bottom inside the NQ. We've got a 10 minute bottom inside the semiconductor index. Bottom, I don't see any kind of bottom pattern. You're right. What you do see is you see two TD9 count breakout levels 432896, 432878. Let's just call it 4328. If we could see that price got back there, it's been tested a few times, and that has held. Getting back to where price broke out can, in fact, be a breakout level. Likewise, a close below that 4328 area is going to suggest that we have lighter price, so our lower price out there. So you've got the parameters for the semiconductors. You've got the parameters for the NQ out there. Life is good. So let's go take a look at our first request. The first request coming in from Ron E. This came in yesterday, and Ron wanted to take a look at the KRE. That is the Regional Banking ETF out there. And Ron's question is, is this likely to get to a price target of 37.35? My, oh, that's not it. What the heck? Hmm. What did Stevie do? Well, I know we're going to take a look at soybeans, but this was not the place to do that. Let me get the KRE up there. I must have a uh, yellow... Um, well, I think I know what I've done, and uh, I'll have to undo that after the uh, after the show today. But let's take a look at uh, the KRE, Regional Banking System, right now trading at 46.91. So here's the question again. The question from Ron is, will price get to 37.35? As you look at these charts, as you go through your progression, because these charts just simply identify levels of support and resistance as well as bottoms and tops out there. So what would your response to Ron be with regard to where is the next likely stop to the downside? in the KRE. Is it 37.35? The answer to that question is no. Why is that answer to that question no? Because if we take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, what we have is breakout support at 44.46. So our response to Ron would be the first downside target. I do see an A to B equals CD pattern. Uh, the B point was on the trading day of January 17th. Volume it was 14 million shares. When it was passed, it was passed with 56 million shares. So now you have a confirmed A to B equals CD. That should take us down towards that breakout level. Probably doesn't get us all the way down there. Let's take a quick peek at this. Looks like it's already done the one-to-one -one move out there. Well, I'll just use that as an estimate for the time being. Yeah, so it's done a one-to-one. -one. So what you're also looking for here, Ron, we'll come back to the KRE as soon as we get back from this break. If you were to see a bullish reversal candle, then you'd get a Gartley buy pattern. We don't have that at this stage here. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, well, folks. Let's get the proper charts up on our screen. We're taking the KRE out here. So we've identified, uh, first of all, the question with regard to price getting to 37.35. The first level of support that uh, this is going to deal with is going to be, well, I take that back, really. The first level of support is really at the uh, top of its monthly profile. And so that first level that price got to get through is 46.84. If price can close below 46.84, then we'd be looking at 44.46. If price closed below 44.46, then that would bring the 38.83 level. That would get you towards that 37.35 range out there. But you've got to go through those progressions as we speak right now. And again, be on the lookout. If you were to see some type of bullish reversal candle run, that would generate a guard buy pattern you would not want to be short Dizzle inside the tigers then went short silver stevie says why would you do that and the reason i would say why would you do that we're going to change we'll change a couple of screens out here is because silver was back at support so when we took a look at the do i have it up when we took a look at the uh at the 11 a.m. update out here. In fact, I'm going to switch screens. I'm going to go back and forth because I guess this wasn't in the room when I posted this chart on uh, on silver. So I want to make sure that we all take a look at that. And that's going to be coming from that market update chart. So here's the chart for silver. We take a look at this market update. Here's one thing that we know, Dizzle. We can see that silver's trading between a rising and a falling a trend line, to rising to falling trend lines out there. What we also see is that silver traded back into and found support where it should have found support in its buy zone. The buy zone is between 2237 and 2254. So that would not be the time to go short out there. Even if price closed below 2237, I would still say that's not the time to go short. You don't really have the reward risk. Now, if you're trading a five-minute chart or something like that, then that's a whole different scenario out there. But if this is some type of uh, position trade out here, I'd be careful. 
I would definitely be careful because price wasn't able to bust it to the downside. So what's silver likely to do? Try to bust the upside, get into that uh, trend line out there. So if you're going to try to sell short silver, I'd recommend the upper trend line or maybe the top of its profile, 2321. So that was first chart. But let's go back and look, take a look at the intraday charts, the other charts that Stevie has for silver. We'll get to those momentarily. Those are in your upper right-hand corner. So let's go into the shortest time frame that Stevie has out here. And that would look like that is a 30-minute time frame chart. So we take a look at it. The only reason to potentially go short is because price got back to a prior swing point. That was a swing point from one in the afternoon. That was yesterday. And that high was at 22.54. We got up there. We didn't take it out. I don't think we did take it. Let me just move over here. That close on that last candle was 22.55. Well, we did take it out by just a penny. I just be careful because you're above resistance out here, the top of its profile. You're above that red oscillator and change line now. Yeah, I, I just be careful. That's the shortest term chart that I've got out here right now is the 30-minute. Uh, um, yeah, I don't even have it on my other charts to go. Uh, so let's just take a look at what these other intraday charts are signaling to and I. I'm going to take a look at a 60-minute time frame chart. We've got a Roadsmith indicator bottom out here. Then we have a retest of that low. This suggests that silver wants to make a move to 22.68. Um, I've got a TD9 count on the 120-minute time frame chart. If price is able to close above the top of its bear structured profile, here would be your here's here's where the sellers are located. They're between 2246 and 2254. So if you are in it for a very short-term time frame, well, I still don't see that. Uh, other than that 30-minute getting back to a prior swing point and maybe pulling back a bit, I, I'd reconsider that short trade out there. Does it? But that's just that's just Stevie. You ask for my opinion, I share with you the facts as I see them, and then you've got to make the decision on your own. So I do hope that helps you out. And as always, thanks so much for the request out there. Let me close out these silver charts. And then we're going to go take a look at Tesla for John C. And what we're looking for here, I'm not sure what John is asking about, but I think what we're looking for is a... Um, uh, is whether or not Tesla's forming any kind of bottom. So if you give me a moment, we'll get back to the, we'll get to those charts. I just they're further up on my screen. Let's see, uh, it should be I believe that was KRE. This should be Tesla out here. So now we take a look at Tesla. Oh, speak of the uh, bullish reversal candle and a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal that was triggered yesterday. So John C, I don't know if you're looking to exit a short. You're in a short. You're looking to go long. What you'd love to see today is a bullish reversal candle. Now, you have it at 11.22 a.m. 11.22 is not 4 p.m. The question is, what does that candle look like at 4 p.m.? Now, even if we do get a bullish reversal candle, which would confirm a Rosemont indicator bottom, and it could turn into a slingshot, it won't get into a slingshot mode until we get a close above that red oscillator and change line. We have not seen price trade above that since um, well, yeah, December the 27th out there. What that would tell me that would tell me if we get price if we get a confirmed bottom pattern that's a roads momentum indicator and we get a close above that that would tell me we have a change in trend now that change in trend as we speak right now could only be a counter trend move and that counter trend move if that's what it turned out to be would run into resistance between 20270 and 20648 if those profiles fall off to the side while price is trading higher then we have a totally different uh, conclusion or uh, interpretation and we'd have to take a look at what those profile levels where they form what they're communicating to us at that time but right now as we speak you've got the weekly chart that's made its way back towards its breakout level that was at 16435 we're still inside the monthly profile it's got support at 1 44.38 to 165.67. So you got a bullish piercing candle as we speak. As I said, you could get a confirmed Rhodesmith indicator bottom. And then you want to watch that 187 in change. Right now it's 187, call it 187.50. If you get it close above 187.50, odds favor, you're going to see a rally. That rally should take us up towards 202.70 to 206.48. So, John C., I hope that that helped you out in that review of Tesla. We had a request to go take a look at ticker symbol ARQT. So let's pull that up on our screen out here. That is for Tarpon 2 ARQT um, is what? I'm not sure what it is. Uh, Arcutis Biotherapeutics. And Arcutis Biotherapeutics. We completed a TD9 count top yesterday. Tarpon 2, you know the routine. You know that routine? Price should pull back to where? It's oscillator and change line. Where's that printing? That's at 577. But at 567, you've got profile support. So a TD9 count top, if price were to close below 567, I take that back. That is not the bottom of its profile. 
567 is the center of its bearish structured profile. Well, Tarpon 2, you know that game plan. And that's if we see a, a close below that, preferably two consecutive closes below 567. Odds favor when you close below the center of a bearish structured profile. Sellers have the energy to a push price back to support. And that support level would be between 330 and 360. Now, you've got a TD9 count top on the daily. You've got a TD9 count top on the weekly chart out there, and the monthly is doing its own thing. So the weekly chart is saying I could pull easily all the way back to 282, one step at a time. And right now, not until you see a close below 567, um, would that uh, suggestion of that really further, deeper pullback really come into play out there? That's what I see when I take a look at Arcutus Biotherapeutics. So Tarpon 2, I hope that that helped you out. Uh, somebody wanted to take a look at CCJ. It might have been Jimmy. I didn't write down the name. My apology. But let's, well, that's not it. That's a TLT. I know that was a request too. But let me put in, where did I put CCJ then? Doesn't matter. We're going to put it right here. So let's put in a CCJ, Kamiko, is that how you pronounce it? Kamiko, Kamiko, Kamiko Corp out here, trading out right now at about 48.23. So what do we know? Yesterday generated a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. Why did it do that? Because it generated a bearish sash candle. That has taken price back towards um, support. Of course, there's a new support level today. Brand new profile out here. So what we've got out here, Jimmy D, is a profile that's got support at 45.89. The center is at 4827, uh, 48, 48, 30. Be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe. To Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors.
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at Kamiko Corp out here. CCJ is the ticker symbol. We know that yesterday, uh, or two days ago, really, it formed a Rogeman Dimindicator top. Uh, there's a new profile that is formed. So we have price that is trading with inside that profile, and it's sitting right now at the center. So that is a potential level of support at 4830. If price closed below 4830, it would be signaling to you and I, uh, Jimmy, that it may want to get down and test that support area at 4589. If I look at the weekly time frame chart, I don't see a topping pattern. Uh, let me see the, if there was a wave seven top out there. So I take that back. But price is above its green oscillator and change line. That tells you on a weekly basis, the intermediate term time frame, we've got a rising price oscillator above zero. And those are bullish conditions. Because it has a top, we've got to go neutral. So we're slightly bearish on the daily. We're neutral on the weekly. And the monthly time frame chart is going to confirm a TD9 count top this month and complete that pattern next month in the month of March out there. So the best I've got for you on uh, Kimiko, this looks like this might be day number three of consecutive moves lower. You got that new profile. Odds favor moved down to 4589 So I hope that helped you out, Jimmy D. And thanks, as always, so much for the request out there. I guess lastly, if I look at that 30-minute time frame chart, what's it signaling to you and I? TD9 count, Rosemont indicator top. Price just consolidated with inside profile support at 48.15, resistance at 48.49. Fairly tight range out there in the intraday signals. Okay, let's go to our next request, which was to take a look at um, the TLT. The TLT in bonds. Again, I didn't write down who made that request. Jeez, what was Stevie doing? The TLT. Yeah, I didn't write that down. Sorry about that, but doesn't matter. But before we do the TLT, I hope you don't mind. We're going to go take a look at the 30 year. So let's go take a look at the 30 year, see what kind of signals we have here. If you give me a moment, we'll get over to that. 30 year, 30 year. Here we go. That's what's going to pop up on our screen. This way we get the daily, the weekly, and the monthly. Monthly's got to confirm. Roadsman to indicator top with price uh, consolidating with inside his profiles. TD9 count bottom and a TD9 count top on the weekly basis out here. Um, price looks like it wants to get down towards the 118.15 ish area. That's what the weekly chart is telling us. Now, in the case of the daily time frame, this is important. Price is pulled back into its buy zone. So the buy zone for the 30 years between 119.20. 23 and 12017 out there. And price right now is trading above the 12017 level. If it closes above it, odds favor move up towards the 121, let's say 16 or 17 area out there. That would be that green oscillator and change line. And if price can close above that, then you'd be looking for a move to the 12315 level. That's what I see when I take a look at the daily time frame chart. On an intraday basis, I've got a 240 minute TD9 count bottom. I've got a 60 minute TD9 count bottom out here. Here, and I've got uh, nothing on the five-hour time frame chart. If we go switch over to the TL, so you've got intraday signals supporting what we looked at on the daily time frame that are suggesting that price wants to move higher. Now let's go take a look at TLT, see if we can apply any of that information to it. Give me a moment, if you will, to get to those TLT charts. I've got to skedaddle up to the top of my screen here and find where I put the TLT. I think it's right here. And it is. So in the case of the TLT, you've got a bullish structured profile. We would say a close below above 94.46, which suggests to move to 95.27. Above 95.27, you'd be looking at 95.72. No, I was not dyslexic. It was 27 and then 72 out there. And a close above 95.72 would get us up to 97.27 out there. Boy, it likes a seven in the twos and the twos and the sevens out there. On a uh, weekly time frame chart, your below profile would suggest moving to 92.84 ish out there in the weekly monthly chart you're below profile as well 9138 would be a likely target to the downside but right now in the daily time frame looks like we're getting ready for a bit more of a rally out there so i hope that that helped whomever it was that asked about the uh, tlt in the 30 year i hope that helped you out the next request is to take a look at apple and microsoft now for that stevie's going to pull up his ndx 100 charts and we'll switch screens here so momentarily we'll get over to that trading the ndx charts let's go change screens out here hopefully i can figure out which screen it is i think i can 
No, I can. I can't see that. There we go. I think this is this one right here. Hopefully what we see is Apple. We do. So your question is about uh, Apple. So let's expand out the app. I'm not going to show the day, the weekly and the monthly time frame chart, just the daily. Here's what we know about Apple. What's that? Apple is trading with inside a brand new profile. Now it's trading into resistance right now. You can see that, Dennis. This is Dennis from West Palm Beach. And you can see prices trading right into potential resistance. That's the oscillator and change line. That's printed at 188.89. We're at 188.83. If price can close a day above 188.89, odds favor the price will target the 192.87 level. 192.87 is the top of its new profile. If you see a close above that, then we're looking to move to 197.68. To the downside, if price is unable to take out that oscillator and change line, you could see price moving back to support. That is between that is at 182.65. Now, what I want to share with you about the new profile that is formed in Apple, it's not a guarantee, but it does provide you and I with the information that we need to kind of get a feel for what it's communicating to us. And what it's communicating to us is this profile, the bottom bottom of the new profile above the bottom of the old profile the top of the new profile above the top of the old profile that suggests that apple what it does from a profile standpoint is it wants to rally but use stevie's oscillator and change line as that key level to be watching and observing let's go take a look at microsoft see what microsoft is doing microsoft has a roads momentum indicator signal that's the only topping signal that i see that has not been confirmed because we do not have a bearish engulfing can a bearish reversal candle it doesn't have to be a bearish engulfing candle but what price is doing it's also trading with inside its bearish structured daily profile and they close again below 406.63 that's the center of that bearish structured profile it would just simply increase the odds dennis of a move back to support and further support would be down at 30 395.76 that's what i see when i take a look at the charts for both microsoft and for apple out there dennis i hope that that helps you out as always thanks so much for writing in let's go to our first caller it is Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for getting up so, getting up so early uh, with us. Uh, how are you this morning? Oh, I'm doing well, Steve. How are you? Excellent. Thanks so much for asking. I believe you want to take a look at ticker symbol SYM. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, symbolic. I don't have a position. I just uh, I see it's gapping down today. It's, it's actually going into that gap. I think it might already touch the bottom. Um, of that uh, one from back in November. Okay, it had good yep. volume, but it looks like today might even should probably match or maybe exceed that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so the vol if we take a look at uh, the November 17th, uh, sorry, January 17th, so I haven't gotten to November, but let me take a look at what it's doing right now. And that is that price is dealing with a hammer candle from January 17th. That hammer candle did volume of 962,000 shares out here. So far today for SYM, we've got a total of uh, 4.5 million shares. So we've got 4.5 in about two hours of trading that gives us about 9 13 14 15 million shares going against uh 962,000 shares holy shnikes what's up with this thing today you know is there earnings report they or anything their, they have their earnings yeah so i don't have okay. a position like i said i that's one i've been watching that's kind of came to my attention basil was the one that that you know has talked about it and Oh, uh, okay. I have interest in it. I'm not going to do anything at the moment. I just was wondering what kind of levels would be, you know. I mean, I guess it could be, what, I don't know what that retracement was, you know, that might have been enough. But I mean, I don't think it's too much. Maybe it's about right for a AB equals CD down. Look at well, that. Just what, what let's, uh, let's might, come back to that. Let's, yeah, let's come back to that when we get back from this break here, Brent, because I've got to do A to B equals CD. It gives us to 3181. We'll come back to this break. We'll take a look at those patterns in just a few. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. We'll take a look at ticker symbol SYM. We're doing this with Brent in Martinez, California. And uh, what I've done is I put my black background charts up on the screen for us, Brent. And uh, today we can see the price right now. It's trading below the bottom of a daily profile. The bottom of that profile is at 4010. You close below that, it gives us a change in trend signal. But more importantly, price is trading below the swing point from January 17. Again, that swing point at 962,000 shares. You can see we're already 4.6 million. So if price closed below 39.43, it'll generate a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Retracement here was about a 0.618 retracement. The one-to-one -one price move would give us an initial price target of 31.81. I would say the way you come off of a C point, Brent, is really important. And this gap down with volume tells you and I that this should do more than the one-to-one -one move to the downside. So shareholders are telling us that price should get down towards the 26.26 level. That gets us back into the uh, September time frame. There's a September swing point uh, for September 26. Volume there are only 686,000 shares out there. So that is the initial target area as we speak right now. Retracement-wise from the most recent low, that's on the daily time frame from September's low up to the most recent high, that would be from November 28th. We're almost towards a 0.786 retracement level there. So that's what I see. Are your eyes looking at something different that I can, you know, take a look at? No, I think that's it, Steve. You've pretty much touched on what I was looking at, and I just I appreciate all the numbers that you provided. That's, oh, that's good. definitely helpful. Good, good. Yeah. So I, I'd, I'd wait. I'd sit back and wait on this one. And, uh, you know, as it starts approaching that 3181, 26, 26 ish type area, and you get a bullish reversal candle, you'd get a uh, Gartley buy pattern for uh, Symbotic. Uh, I don't see anything, Brent, when I took a look at the uh, weekly and the monthly uh, time frame charts uh, uh, for us. So I think it's just the uh, daily A to B equals CD. Is there anything else that I can do for you? If you wouldn't mind, just quickly look at the S. QM again. I, I, I think today is bar nine on the daily. Okay. 
Okay. That's one we Give looked a at as far as the bottom end pattern. And yep. It's uh, yeah. So let me yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, Sam, uh, Quentin, uh, Matthew. Yep, and I'm going to go ahead and change screens here. We'll get to our white screens out there. You mentioned the TD9 count, so it's just loading as we speak right now. So give us a second here for this to load again. SQM trading at uh, 4066, uh, trading above yesterday's high, giving us a, a change in trend, kind of a signal out there. And there's a new profile that is formed, Brent. So you may want to write this down. It's a bullish structured profile. The support or the buy zone would be between 39.47 and 40.44. A close today above 40.44 would suggest to move up to the 47.25 level. I say it would suggest that, but first it would have to deal with that red oscillator and change line. That's been a real key level of resistance. So I would say if Sociedad Quimica is going to give us a real change in trend signal, we need to see a close above that red oscillator and change line at 42.94. Today, is going to become bar number nine. And that's as long as as price closes below the close of bar number five, which was 4207. So as long as price doesn't close above that, you've got a TD9 count bottom that will confirm. Uh, and then you've just got those resistance levels to uh, check off. On a weekly time frame, if this were to generate a weekly bullish reversal candle, you would have a Rhodes momentum indicator buy pattern. The monthly chart says that this wants to get all the way back to its breakout area, and that's at 2584 out there. But the daily right now, that's the one that's in control here because it's got that bottom pattern. The question becomes, Brent, can it take out resistance? And those two levels, again, being the oscillator and change line, around 4293, let's just call it 43 bucks and change. And if it can get above that, you should see it move up to the 4725 level. Is there anything else on SQM that, uh, is there something no, else that you're looking it. at? No, okay. thank you so much, Steve. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to get a quick take on that, and you certainly did that. So thank Perfect. you so much. Just have a great day. And, and uh, if I don't talk to you again, just have a, a great week and a, and a weekend as well. Will do. And thanks so much for the call. That was Brent in Martinez, California. So we've got a request to take a look at NVIDIA as well. Oh, wait. At the, no, at, okay, yeah. So I'm going to go back to... NVIDIA and AMD. I don't think I have them. On, let me see. I might have. I might have gotten a chance to... Do that. Mm, no, I don't think I did. Give me one second. I just check one more thing out there, folks. And no, I don't. So let me just go back to that uh, first screen out here, and let me just start firing away. So NVDA is a ticker symbol. This will take just a moment to populate. Uh, this is from Tim. Uh, I think Tim just wanted me to take a uh, look at it. So uh, let me also make sure I'm on the right screen. Yep, we got the white background screens. We're good. So in the case of NVIDIA, uh, you do have a, a bearish reversal candle today. Now, what is that uh, confirming? It looks like there's an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside, and there most certainly is. So um, it's a, and it's more than a one-to-one, -one, that's for sure. So you can see there's the A to B equals CD. We're quite extended here. But nonetheless, you've got a bearish reversal candle today. And that would suggest, with this sell the D point pattern, that we should see price pull back to its oscillator and change line. That's at 651.90. Now, we're at its all-time high out here for NVIDIA. If this were to gap down tomorrow, that would create a sell the D point pattern with an island top out there. I'm not saying that's what it's going to do, but that's what it could do out there. The weekly time frame, as we take a look at NVIDIA, you'll see that bar number eight is forming. That says you could see a weekly TD9 count top between this week and two out from now. And the monthly time frame just looks strong like bull. So um, how do you, you get it? It looks like you're going to sell the D point pattern and price should pull back the 651 and change out there. That's that oscillator and change line. So what's the caution about uh, that being the likely outcome? The caution is let's open up its dance steps out here. So as we take a look at NVIDIA, certainly coming off of the lows here in uh, January, what we have seen is a one two bar pullback. And that's it. We've seen a couple of one bar moves out there. So today is going to become bar number one. So if if NVIDIA wants to remain really bullish, you won't see more than two, max four, but I'd say two to three consecutive moves to the downside out there. So I'd also be watching for that, Tim. Hope that helps you out with regard to NVIDIA. You also want to take a look at AMD. So let's get AMD's charts up on our screen. Uh, AMD is going to take a moment for these to uh, populate. 
AM, well, not too long, 166.57 or so is what it's trading at. So in the case of AMD, we have a road momentum indicator top that formed yesterday. It formed because we got that bearish reversal dark cloud cover. Price is right now inside its daily profile. So the support range here is between 153 and 162.31. Likely that 162.31 is at least the next target to the downside. We can see that at 157.57 is the weekly oscillator and change line. We do not have a topping pattern in the weekly time frame but that would be a level of support on a further move lower out there um today is going to be the second consecutive lower close inside of amd if we take a look at its dance moves out here it typically doesn't exceed a three bar move in fact coming off of the lows from back in october we've seen one two three three uh, we've seen three three-bar moves, and we've seen one two-bar move. Today is also going to be a two-bar move. So AMD should be getting ready to form a bottom either today or tomorrow and at least give you at least a one- to two-day rally out there. That's what I see when I take a look at the AMD charts out there. So, Tim, thanks so much for writing in. and hope that helps you out. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff to get through in the last two minutes. Uh, ASPN, SOXL, ENVX, Lily, and Oprah. Stevie's going to do his best to get through that. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back.
back, uh, folks. So Nicholas wants to take a long position in ASPN. We took a look at this a few days ago. Said call back either Monday or Tuesday. And why? Because that TD9 count bottom. You're going to complete a TD9 count bottom pattern today. It looks like you're also going to complete a wave number seven. That's as long as price is not tick below. Yesterday's low at 1075. So you got the buy signal that you wanted. I put my stop underneath the, uh, the low of the uh, pattern. That low of the pattern is uh, 1075, or I'd really make it 67 cents of the 10 day. Uh, average true range, so I'd take 67 cents, multiply times 1.618. I'd make that my uh, stop out there, but I would stop out if you saw a close below this TD9 count uh, bottom out there. So you've got what you need, and uh, you've got your bottom pattern, and I would say go ahead and fire away. That's on ASPN. Tom G wants to take a long position inside the socks. We took a look at the uh, socks out there. I believe they were suggesting lower price. If I take a look at SOXL, right now price is dealing with the bottom of its daily profile, and for Presumably a close below that would uh, suggest lower price. That being 33.25, so watch that. Price is moving into a swing point from back on the uh, 30, uh, 31st of January, 85 million shares. Right now today, you've traded 33 million shares. So you're moving back with some pretty decent volume out there, similar not the same as, but similar to that uh, swing point. So, um, and you could get an A to B equal CD to the downside. So I'd hold off right now on SOXL um, as I see it on the uh, two hour time frame chart. As an example, this generated a TD9 count top. Right now, it's dealing with profile support. Uh, it looks like it's going to close below that. 31.95 is the next price target for SOXL to the downside. Let's go to our next request out here. I'm not going to be able to get through all of them. My apology. What I can promise you, and I'm going to promise this to um, uh, ELO, Joey D, Michael and Pennington, Nicholas, I will absolutely get to your request uh, first thing tomorrow morning. But with regard to ENVX out there, Bob, you're generating a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Price is trading into its sell zone right now. That's between about 974 where we're trading and 1017 out there. So you've got your bottom pattern. The question is, can price take out resistance? And it close above 1017, you should see 1240 over time. Folks, thanks so much for joining me on Terrific Tuesday. Please have a terrific one yourself. Stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Take care. Be safe out there.